What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a hidden feature that Apple didn't mention that they put into iOS 7, which is a panoramic lock screen. So to give you an idea of what it looks like, here is a panorama picture I took of my office. I can look up or I can look down uh, or I can just keep spinning. My lock screen is going out. Uh, I can just keep spinning here and I can just see a panorama picture right on my lock screen. And uh, I think that's pretty freaking cool. So the first thing you got to do for a panoramic lock screen is actually go and take a panoramic picture. So you want to go into your camera, you want to go to the pano mode, and you want to take a panoramic picture of something you like and you actually want to see uh, on your lock screen. If you've seen it on iOS 7, this is actually really similar to how the background moves uh, when you're on the home screen. And it also does it on the lock screen too. Uh, but you just go into settings, you go down and you go to brightness and wallpaper. You go to choose your wallpaper and then you want to go down to my panoramas you just go ahead and select that there select the panoramic picture you want uh, you can go ahead and give a preview of it right there and see what it's going to look like go ahead and hit set and then you're going to want to set it as your lock screen now what you can do go ahead and head to your lock screen go ahead and see it right there and there it is a panoramic picture right on your lock screen Pretty freaking cool. I should also mention if you want to, you can also do a panoramic home screen. Uh, I would definitely not recommend this because it is kind of disorienting. Uh, plus, it is going to just kill your battery. Uh, but it does look pretty cool uh, if you want uh, to do that kind of thing. But uh, personally, I would just do this on the lock screen so it's not uh, just draining your battery like crazy. All right, there you go. I thought I'd do a quick video on this because I thought it was pretty cool. And I wanted to show you guys. You'll, of course, get this once iOS 7 is out to the public. Uh, but if you have iOS 7 right now and you're a developer, you can actually go do this right now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, click the like button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.